in breaking of bread in in prayer in breaking in bread in prayer uh, um, it's very important amen that the body stay in prayer uh, go to the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 42 the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 42 um, is very important the, the Bible is, is is breaking down the importance of the fellowship through the word of God and through breaking bread and through prayer and if it's ever a time that we have to pray this is a time such as now and we have to really understand that we just cannot just uh, pray just one single prayer we got to pray with all types of prayers because where the enemy does the enemy uh he comes in a way to make us think that we okay and we comfortable in a time like this um as an example of I, I prayed this morning and, and I told God I thank you for waking me up this morning and uh and I I thank you for the food, I thank you for the clothes, but the prayer that has to be uh uh continuous pray prayed, uh it has to go beyond that. We have to continue to pray, we have to bind, we have to loose, and we have to tell God uh thank you. We have to uh have the prayer dedication and consecration. And um, um, I don't know how many um, uh, remember when I was talking about um, uh, um, uh, when you, with salvation, uh, having the peace of God and the peace with God. Um, we got to get in a place and we got to know that we know we are in a place that we have the peace of God. Not just the peace with God. And so, uh, when you have the peace that God have uh, given us uh, through salvation and through the word of God, through assurance, through the word of God, through faith, through trust, uh, uh, we will know that we're going to be all right. Your family going to be all right. Uh, it doesn't matter what you're struggling with. You're going to be all right. Deliverance is on the way. Uh, uh, so Apostle Paul was saying that uh, continue to stand fast in the Apostle doctrine, in the fellowship. Because the, the fellowship, uh, that's what the enemy don't want is believers to fellowship. The enemy don't want that. The enemy take joy when he can take believers out of fellowship. Because in fellowship, the Bible say iron shop and iron. Strength come through uh, fellowship. God ordained fellowship. Uh, so Paul is saying is that uh, uh, continue into, stand fast into apostle doctrine. In the fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in the prayers. It's very important that, you know, we, we continue to pray. You pray for each other. You pray for each other because the prayers of the righteous prevail is much. And um, and I want to say this here. Um, if it's anything that um, you need God to do uh, in your life, uh, the Bible say we must work out our own soul salvation with fear and trembling. We must put prayer on it and begin to thank God for that because the Lord been dealing with me. He been dealing with me uh so very heavy. He been he been dealing with me so very very heavy. Um concerning personal relationships. And what happens is uh people uh 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 will put their personal conviction on other people and put their religious or their faith standpoint uh uh views on other people and it's not biblical it's not biblical uh, 
The Bible say we must work out our own soul salvation with fear and trouble. And the Bible declared, let the word, let every man be alive, but the word be true. Everything lawful is not as speedily. And so we have to make sure that we stay in, 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 in the value of the book because oftentimes, amen, um, when it's a shortage of prayer uh, in an individual life, it would be a lot of or some sort of shortcomings. And, and that's the trick of the enemy to stop the fellowship. That's the trick of the enemy to uh, 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 not allow uh, believers to come together. Um, um, so we have to make sure that we continue to stay in prayer, stay in the word, continue to read the word, continue to confess the word of God, and continue to love like God say love. Because it's very, very important in these last and evil days because the Bible talks about uh, 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 the people, the children of God turning from the faith. And, 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 and it's very valuable that we stay in tune with our with our mind and our spirit. We gotta present Romans twelve and one said, present the body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him, which is our reasonable servant. And so we have to stay focused, especially in a time like this, and be visible. We drop down to forty six, Acts chapter two, verse forty six. And they continue daily, one accord. In the temple, it's, they was in the temple, in brick and bread, from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. So the temple is very important. The house of God, the worship of God is very, very important. So oftentimes, a man, uh, the enemy come through the back door and want believers and want uh, 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 church folks to uh, uh, discredit the house of God. And biblically, it says uh, they continue in apostle doctrine. They stand fast in it. They held to it. They broke bread and they were praying. And then 46 said, and they continue daily one accord in the temple, in breaking bread, from house to, in breaking bread, from house to house. First, the temple is very important. Then they went to the house. They then they evangelized it. They went out, they evangelized it. People had a need. They evangelized it. They, they witnessed it. They evangelized it. They evangelized it. And then it said, praying God, praying God in heaven, favor with all men. I mean, praising God, having favor with all men. And the Lord added to the church daily, such as should be saved. So the four corner walls. The temple is very important, and also the outside evangelizes is very important. And and I'm and I'm the Lord got me going here because a lot of time people, uh, even now, it's just so much going on over the body of Christ. Uh, if I can't worship inside the temple, uh, I got a problem. But when you are evangelist, you wouldn't mind going on the outside. When you are a believer, the same way we will praise God on the inside, we'll praise him even more on the outside. And so the Lord got me here. Um, and I want to, uh, I want to, uh, strengthen your faith, uh, keep you encouraged. Um, God word going to go out. Uh, God know what the importance of our life, 
before we became a believer. Um, so I take this opportunity and give God praise and uh, to be able to uh, evangelize, um, keep the word going um, over the phone, uh, audio, in person. Um, I give God praise because his word will not come by void. Because a lot of a lot of people starting to feel um, if they're not in the temple, God is not going to reach out to them. And so uh, when the word is in you and you receiving the word, uh, God is just as powerful uh, in the temple as he could be right now on this phone. Because we are together. We are one accord. We are one accord. And I'm saying that to say this. Um, a lot of people will downgrade this. They will downgrade what we are doing right now at this present time. But the Bible declares is it two or three touching and agreeing. He's in the midst. And so we thank God that he are in the mix right now. And God is moving even right now. God knows the situation. So God always have a way of escape. He always have a million ways to get his word to his people. And so we give God the praise for what he is doing. Because I believe when this blow over, amen, if we embrace what we are doing now in this season on the conference call outside, amen, uh, when when God do allow us to go back in the temple, it ought to be a whole nother dimension of praise. It ought to be a whole nother level of miracle. It ought to be another uh, level of, of signs and wonders, amen, victories, and the power of of his manifestation power of his word should be on a whole nother realm. So I'm saying this to say this here. Uh, what we do with what we have, then God will make a ruler over much more. And, it, and it's coming a time that the word of God is going to be scarce. It's going to come a time that it's going to be hard to find the Bible. But we have to make sure that we continue continue to keep this word and continue to hear the word and be doers of the word and not hearers only. And we be stand fast. We stay stand fast. Stay in the will of God and stay praying. Stay loving. And stay trusting God because God got something for his children. He got something for his children. Um, I want to say this here. Um, let's go to Matthew, Matthew chapter 12. Matthew chapter 12. Matthew chapter 12. And I want to say this. Um, uh, those that don't have to be on uh, media, uh, don't have to have any work or whatever. Um, the Lord spoke to me and uh, he said, tell the body to fast, to fast off of it, to fast off of it. Because it's something God want to download something in you. And in this hour, we don't need distraction when God is trying to download something, especially when you're trying to walk out of some things. When you're trying to walk out of some things, you need God to do something. Uh, uh, that media could be a distraction. Um, everybody know what the media is, whatever you go on or whatever. If it's not job related, if it's not, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, Something you have to uh, go by to uh, your daily living or whatever. Uh, the Lord say fast off of it and get in here more. 
fast off of it and get in Him. Get in Him. Because anytime we get, the body of Christ get in a place like this, uh, we got to slow things down. We got to stop some things and to hear what God is saying. Because it's, 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 it's not in... It's not in the total what the whole what God is saying to the whole body as a whole, but don't forget what God want to talk to you about. What He want to talk to you about. God to give the whole body a word, and God to give you an oh, individual yeah. word. And that's where I'm that's where we got to be at. It's icing God. God, give me a word. Give me a word for my life. Give me a word for my family. Give me a word. Amen. Uh, Matthew chapter 12. Matthew chapter, Matthew chapter 12. Uh, we're going to start at 28, verse 28. But if I can cast devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. Or else, how can one enter into a strong man's house? And that's what the enemy want to do is enter into the strong man house. He want to enter our spiritual life. He want to get us in a place where, where, where it seems like we none effective. We're not moving fast enough. Uh, 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 uh. But when we understand that if God be for us, who can be against us? And anytime the enemy come to try to bind up your mind and your spirit, amen, uh, you got to immediately cast it down. You got to immediately cast it down. When the enemy say you won't have, you got to cast it down. When the enemy say you will not be healed, you got to cast it down. When the enemy say you're not accepted, when the enemy say you're never mounted, no, you got to cast it down. You got to cast it down because the enemy uh, want to bind the strong man. And he come in so many different forms. He come through family. He come through the children. He, he, he come through jobs. He, he, he come through tangible things that, that, that we connect to every day of our lives. And so we have to bind that spirit before the thought overtake us. Before the action overtake us. We have to bind it up. It said, how can, uh, it said, or else, how can one enter in a strong man's house and spoil his good, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his own house. So God gave every believer authority if we embrace it, if we use it. He gave us authority. That way, when, 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 when our spirit is uneased, uh, when God is trying to warn us, uh, when we see things that are um, not in the will of God, uh, He gave us power to uh, 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 bind it up, loose, correct, uh, go the opposite way, uh, speak up. He gave us so many tools. That way, the that way the enemy could not bind up the strong man and get in our spiritual home, our life, our soul, in our homes, our natural homes. But I want to say this: we could not go by what we see and what we hear in this world. We have to stay tuned to what God is saying about this world. Concerning this world. And what happens is. Uh, a lot of people. Is going to be. 
the, the enemy going to do a sneak attack because they thinking more about this world. They looking more of this world than and more of what God is saying. So it's very important that we continue in apostle doctrine. Amen. And stay standfast and stay in prayer and stay, amen, connected together. Stay connected together through fellowship. This is a fellowship right now. Through the faith. We have to make sure that we stay uh, in that area where we can stay encouraged. Where we stay encouraged. Because if there's ever a time believers need to be encouraged or anybody need to be encouraged, uh, it's right now. It's right now. Is right now, and I've been I've been preaching I've been teaching this, uh, I've been preaching and teaching this. Uh, what do you do when it's no when it's no keyboard? What do you do when it's no drums? It's the word. Music is all right. Music is good. David was anointed, but but. But we live by the word, not by music. And that's why I want to encourage everyone on here. Don't just have a life of listening at gospel music and don't listen at the word of God too. At your legion time. Because faith come by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Faith come by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Amen. So it says, He that is not with me is against me. And he that gather not with me scatter abroad. So uh I want I want the body to know that we still in the word, we still in fellowship, we still in gathering. We still in the confines of the word of God. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, tell uh, the body, tell the church that he is pleased. He saw the level of faith. And he said, he is pleased. Everyone that stepped out on last Sunday, he said, he is pleased. He saw it. He saw it. He saw it. He saw the faith. He saw, he saw the, the the willingness. He saw the endurance. He saw the endurance. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, He said, tell them that He is pleased. He is pleased. But in this time and season where we are at, it's too this too shall pass. But we gotta make sure. You have to make sure that the enemy don't come in. You got to put the whole arm of God on. Keep it on. Keep it on. You got to go to the grocery store. Keep it on. You got to go to the doctor. Keep it on. Wherever you got to go, get gas, wherever, keep it on. Because it's going to take the arm of God. If we don't keep the arm of God on, the devil is right there. To come in to bind the strong man. And he coming in the twofold. He coming by the way of the spirit. Through negative. And he coming. To get right in your house. In your well living. But if we keep the whole arm of God on. You keep it on. Fight a good fight of faith. And tell God thank you. For the conference call. For giving him praise outside, outside the sanctuary. I guarantee you, when we are grateful, when you're grateful over where you at, it qualifies you to go where God want to take you. It qualifies you. It qualifies you. When God sees the measure of his church and hunger and thirst after righteousness, it qualifies you for the next level. It qualifies you for more than enough. And what it does at the same time, God shields you, God protects you, God, God just, he locks in on your well-being. 
He locks in on your thought pattern. He locks in on your desire. Everything that you've been looking for, everything you've been believing God for, God locks in on that. Because why? Anything that concerns you and you in God, you connected to God by faith, through love, with the word, God concerned about you. When you're concerned about that, the things of God, he concerned about you. He concerned about you. And God will show up. And he's already done showed up. We just believe in God for the manifestation to come. And I believe it's not far off. I believe it's not far off. It's not far off. I want everyone to uh, continue to confess the word of God. Continue to confess the word of God. When it looked like a spirit trying to come and trying to bind you up, bind your thought pattern, bind your spirit up, uh, you bind him up. Reverse it. Bind that spirit up and loose the peace and the joy and the healing and whatever it is in your situation. Bind and loose and begin to give God praise. Begin to give God praise. Because I stand on the word of God. When we are in God, there's nothing missing, nothing like it. All things are whole. All things are whole. And I want to give you a, a, a scripture to uh, back up what I what I said and what I believe. Um, when when the woman that had the issue of blood, when she came. And she touched the hem of Jesus' garment. Jesus told the woman, your faith has made you whole. Your faith. So I believe, I believe every dime she spent trying to get her healing. When she received the healing, God went to restore some things unto her. I believe it. He went to restoring some things unto her. He went to restoring some things unto her. And I believe through this scripture as well, everything that the caterpillar, the locust, the the uh, the, the, the palmer worm, uh, everything that the caterpillar, everything will add up. God restore by double. We ain't got to worry about. Don't worry about what you what it looked like you lost. Don't worry about don't don't you ain't got to go back to the devil camp. We serve a big God. If he made one thing, he made something better than what he made the first time. He, we serve a God that will redeem and restore. We don't have to go into the enemy camp. We don't have to have a pity party. We don't have to have the spirit of fear. But if we trust God. Anything that you had to give up, God going to give back double. And I stand on that. I stand on the word. I stand on the word. I stand on the word. So I want y'all to, uh, 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 I, I speak healing over, over, over the airways. I speak healing in this conference call. I speak healing. I speak healing right now in the name of Jesus. Sickness dry up right now in the name of Jesus. I declare a decree. I command it to dry up right now in the name of Jesus. I command strength to rise up right now in the body in the name of Jesus. Strength in the spirit, man, in the name of Jesus. And God, I declare, I decree your word. On this line. In the name of Jesus. That your power. Shall be manifested. In everybody's life. That's up under my voice. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now Satan. I reroute you by the Holy Ghost. Any target. Any potential targets. I reroute you right now in the name of Jesus. 
I surrender you harmless. I denounce your power right now. In the name of Jesus. We shall be strong in the power and the might in God. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for the fellowship. And God, that you will keep, keep us strong. In the name of Jesus. And God, we plead the blood right now in the name of Jesus over our life and over our families in the name of Jesus. God, we plead the blood, God, over the workers, the doctors, God, the nurses, God, the techs, God, the house cleaners, God, in the hospital, in every facility, God, in the name of Jesus. Every healthcare worker, God, we plead the blood over. God, we pray that God, that you will protect them, God, as they perform their duty, God, to help somebody else, God. In the name of Jesus. God, we pray for the president. God, we pray for the legislators. We pray for all the chief doctors. We pray for the chief of police. We pray yes, for the God. sheriff. Yes, God. We pray for the mayor, God. Yes, Jesus, the governor. Of every state. Every city, yes, Jesus. Every city right yes, now. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, God, 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 that you will protect Jesus. them. God, that you will give them the wisdom and the knowledge to fight this virus. In the name of Jesus. But God, give the church let them have an ear to hear what the Spirit said unto the church. That we shall move with wisdom and knowledge. And we shall be in order. Spiritually and naturally. In the name of Jesus. God, we give you glory right now for us. We give you glory. God, I pray, God, that everybody will have a sweet sleep. I bind every spirit of harassment. I bind every spirit of frustration. I bind anger. I bind anxiety. I, I bind breathing problems. Right now, asthma. Right now, in the name of Jesus. I bind every complication that the enemy would try to throw on, on us. I bind it up right now. And I loose divine healing. In the name of Jesus. Breakthrough. Breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And God, we give you praise. And we thank you right now. As we lift up Glory Bible as one. God, that you will strengthen the ministry. God, that you will meet every need, God. God, that you will move on the behalf of every member. In the name of Jesus. Like never before. 